Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. It is time for us to get our minds aligned with the truth of God. And today I want to look at Psalm chapter 25. I want us to consider a theme that we see running throughout the Psalms. In fact, you see this theme dominantly throughout the Proverbs as well and throughout all the scripture. And the concept that I'm talking about is one that's known as the fear of the Lord. Now, for many of us, that phrase makes us kind of shudder or feel uncomfortable because we don't want to think about God in a way that makes us fearful of Him. And perhaps that's because authority figures in our life before that we have felt fearful of have been doing it wrong in terms of the authority that they wield. You see, the fear of the Lord is something people try to get around in various ways for the sake of their own comfort. They don't want to think of God as someone they would fear. And so they redefine it as respect. And they'll say, oh, it means to respect God. Well, yes, it does mean that, but it means more than that. They'll say, well, it means to honor God. Well, yeah, it does mean that, but it means more than that. Because Jesus himself said, do not fear those who can take your life. So he's talking about people, but rather fear him who can send body and soul to hell. I tell you, that is who you should fear. Now, who is that? That is God himself. Jesus is talking about God, the judge, the one who will call us to account for our deeds, good and evil, and every word we've said. You see, that's the kind of fear that the psalmist and the writers of other passages of Scripture where this topic is addressed are talking about. They're talking about a healthy kind of fear that comes from knowing who God really is in his majesty, in his grandeur, in his holiness. You see, it's one thing to know that there is a God. It's quite another to recognize how vastly superior and how infinitely greater he is than we are. It's kind of like when you, you know, imagine yourself in an army situation or a military situation and you have 30 people on your side and you see an army of 200,000 across the battlefield from you. There would be a sense of ominous fear that you would feel in that situation, and rightly so, because you are outnumbered, outgunned, and you are doomed in that situation. The reality is sinking in. And I think another reason this concept of the fear of the Lord is difficult for us to grasp is because we think of fearing people because of maybe a sense that they're going to do wrong to us or they're going to do harm to us or do bad to us. And those concepts are not at all ones that apply when it comes to talking about the fear of the Lord because he is righteous. He is entirely good. He always does good to his people. Now, of course, that does not mean we as believers in Christ will be kept from all physical harm or all difficult situations, but we can know that even in those kinds of circumstances, our God is working for our good. So I've spent a lot of time setting the stage here and haven't even read the passage yet. So let me read the passage. This is Psalm chapter 25, and we're beginning in verse 12. It says, who is the man who fears the Lord? Him will he instruct in the way that he should choose. His soul shall abide in well-being, and his offspring shall inherit the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes known to them his covenant. You see, it's important that we get this concept of fearing the Lord, because there are huge benefits that come from it. Tomorrow, I want to dig into this passage a little more deeply. For now, I want to leave you with this idea resonating in your head and in your mind. Do you fear God? Do you fear Him as you should? Join me again tomorrow for the Morning Mindset.